was four weeks ago today that I started this uh, glue is glue experiment. Remember I went into Lee Valley and the guy said something to the effect of, well it wasn't to the effect of, it was glue is glue. And uh, got me to thinking, is this Type on 3 glue that I bought actually better than the other glue? Well I knew it was. But just how waterproof was it? So I thought, well I'm going to do a test. And this is the test. Now let's take these samples. They've been soaking here for two weeks and uh, just see what we've got. We'll just see, did the Type Bond 3 hold? Well, ob obviously the... Well, I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see it. Well, naturally I want to move these samples extremely carefully so as not to stir up the sediment. Mind you, in this particular sample there's not a whole lot of sediment. Now this one is the cheap carpenter's glue. I could be wrong, but it almost looks like the sample is sort of falling apart. Anyway, let's open up these jars and take the samples out. I hope they haven't swollen up so much I can't get them out. Now before I actually start stirring this up here, it would be good to remember that the sample on the cheap carpenter's glue used to look a lot like the sample here for the Type Bond 3. It was still all in one piece, whereas right now it's all sediment at the bottom of the jar. Well, it held together. That's encouraging. At least it's encouraging for the people that are trying to promote cheap carpenter's glue. Now we'll give it a bit of a break test. See what happens here. Well, actually, before I do that, I want to see if I can get this uh, piece of Type on 3 out. Is it holding together? Well, obviously it is. That means that very little of it dissolved. Now let's check out the uh, cheap carpenter's glue. The word sludge comes to mind. Now I guess in all fairness, we should do the same thing to the Type Bond 3. Well, now for the brake test. Got to do this before it dries out because once it dries out, it'll re strengthen itself. Okay, here we go with the cheap carpenter's glue. <laughs> well, I know you can't feel that, but trust me, it took very little pressure. <clears throat> that took a lot of pressure. But it did break at the joint. And it appears to be a fairly clean break. It's not like I can see pieces of this piece of wood on 
this one and vice versa. It broke cleanly. So the Type Bond 3 did actually let go. Well, that's kind of disappointing actually. It was stronger, but is it waterproof? Well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. You know, you, you take this and look at this sample and you'd have to say, well, yes, it is waterproof. It didn't dissolve. And yet, did it do what it was I thought it would do? Well, what do you think? Give me a comment. Well, to summarize, the Type Bond 3 was better. In fact, it took a lot of pressure to uh, break that. In fact, my thumb was hurting. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, to the guy at Lee Valley who said glue is glue, well, not all glue comes from the same dead horse. Hey, watch your mouth. There could be horses watching this. I apologize to any horses that might be watching this that might be sensitive to glue factory jokes. I should have been more sensitive. Anyway, uh, like I said, give me a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Would you call this waterproof? Well, okay, I'm going to do a glue is glue number four about a month from now and we'll see how the voting went. I'll be honest, I'll tell it like it is.